Here's a dipole, which means there is a positive and a negative end to this particle kind of thing or molecule, whatever it is. The electric field is shown below. Which direction is the force acting on an electron? Now, this is very important. Force on electron. Ah. Electron. Okay, so if you look at this thing, how do you draw the force? Where would the force point? These are all the field lines only. So there are a few rules you need to remember. Number one, the electric force will be tangent. Oh, well, electric force on the particle will be tangent to the electric field line. So just by looking at that, B and C is out. Your force will not cross the electric field line. It's just tangent. So A and D is possible. Either one. Okay. And number two, the second thing you must remember is that the electric field direction, you know the arrows on the electric field like these ones, that is showing where a positive test charge would go. So showing where a positive charge, positive test charge will go. It's showing where it will move. So if you have a positive charge right here, then it will follow the direction and the force will be here. But that is for a positive charge. What are we looking for? Electron. What charge is electron? Negative. So you can say to the left, this is if it's a positive charge moving to the left. But moving to the right will be the electron. Electron are rebels. They will go they will go against the direction of the electric field. So yeah, that's how the electric force will be on an electron if it is right here. Okay? So that's how you can think about electric fields. Think about these rules here on the left and put together no matter what kind of weird picture they show you, you should know lah. Okay. And also if you're ever confused, just remember the electric the negative will go towards the positive side. So that's why it's gonna go this way. Alright, so that is all for this question, a uh, pretty short one I guess. I'll see you in the next question, next video.